Does it worry you in any way that you spend 80 million pounds on a defender, but you're still linked to another defender to be the main linchpin of the defense, say a Koulibaly? Just throwing out a name there. But does that concern you, considering how much was already paid for Maguire? Yeah, definitely. And, and to be fairly honest, I also do know in the time, you know, before and before, you know, when, when, uh, when Van Dijk was still at Southampton, there was also questions of maybe bringing Van Dijk in, but they never really took the punch and Liverpool did because they could see the potential that he had, but also with Van Dijk, the speed that he had, you know, the, the strength and everything. And that is one of the aspects you would look at at a really good, strong central defender. Can he play with, you know, with some space in the back? Now, obviously, everybody's talking about Koulibaly, bringing Koulibaly in, but I think Koulibaly could go to four or five clubs, so it's not a given that he'll, he'll come. And again, you go back to it, 80 million, you know, for a central defender. You know, if you compare that to, for instance, with, let's say, Van Dijk's performance for Liverpool last season and this season, you know, then I think then, 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 then Van Dijk is, is quite a bit ahead. Out of interest, Mark, uh, do they really need a Sancho? Do they really need to go and effectively pay top dollar for an attacking player, given who they already have? versus what they actually need and we expect to be limited finances because of COVID-19. Is it the smart decision from Oli to apparently be linked so heavily with Jadon Sancho? Well, you know, it all depends on how Oli sees his squad. You know, if he's got the belief that he believes defensively they're good enough, that these players are, are the ones that, he, that he's going to rely on for, for the next season, then of course he's going to look at someone like Jadon Sancho. I think if Jadon Sancho is available, I mean, any club that has the opportunity to sort of spend that sort of money would be interested in buying him. He's, he's a phenomenal young player and he's got a huge future ahead of him. Um, but I, I believe, yeah, I agree. I believe that they should be focusing more on defence, more trying to strengthen at the back. They clearly don't have the depth. I mean, you talk about Van Dijk. I mean, listen, $75 million for Van Dijk. Remember when they paid that much money for him, nobody could believe it. They thought it was mad. But now, would you give 75 million for Van Dijk? Geez, I mean, there'd be, there'd be clubs lining up to pay that sort of money because he's such a phenomenal player. But I also think uh, Jurgen Klopp has a lot to answer for in terms of Van Dijk's development. It's been because of uh, Jurgen Klopp. He's had a massive influence on it. Um, so I, I think there's a, there's a lot of things. Would Van Dijk be the player that he is today had he have gone to Manchester United? I'm not quite sure because they haven't had the stability at, uh, at, uh, at Old Trafford like Liverpool have had over the last couple of years. Do you think they overpaid for Maguire, but, but, Rene? Mark, Sorry. could he also say if Van Dijk would have gone to United, would have United been further ahead than they are now? Because that's a good question. We'll, we, we'll, we'll never know that, will yeah. we? I mean, that's the thing. That, that is a big question. But if you take, if you took, for example, you look at the way that United have performed or haven't performed, you look at the type of world-class players or supposed world-class players they have that haven't delivered, then I would say less likely because there's far too many players that haven't really lived up to the expectation, um, whether it's Sanchez, whether it's, you know, whether it's uh, Paul Pogba. Martial is only just starting to show that talent that everyone's talked about. How much should they have paid for Maguire, in your opinion, Rene? For me, I would probably... 50, no more than 60. Mark? Yeah, I, I, I think that's even a bit too much. I, I, I would have said probably around 35, 40 million, I would have thought. I just think, you know, listen, he had a long-term contract at Leicester. Leicester had all the cards. Manchester United were desperate for a centre-half. Van Dijk was, you know, Liverpool bought Van Dijk. They saw Maguire as, their next Van, as the next Van Dijk, so to speak, for United. And it just hasn't eventuated so far 